Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a very simple, basic, nice enclosure for um, a giant African millipede. This is the uh, 20 by 30 by 30 glass enclosure. Um, really, really obviously well ventilated, I like that. Um, we've got everything we need to set it up here. So uh, we've got inside, you'll see the um, millipede mulch. Now this millipede mulch is made up of uh, white rotten wood um, and some uh, leaf mulch, oak and beech and everything that the millipedes need to to well, they eat it, they eat that as well. So that's good as well as like the fruit and veg that you will give them as they go along, they will be eating everything. So you probably need to keep, uh, eventually start replacing the, um, the millipede mulch. Now I'll start by popping this all in it. And uh, also as well, I don't have it on the desk. I don't think, do I? Yes, I do. This is a really little lush handy tip. I've got some, uh, eggshells, crushed eggshell. And I like to put that through the substrate as well because uh, millipedes need calcium. So they need calcium so that they can create their exoskeleton. Um, so they get grow and molt and all that stuff that they need to do. And uh, they'll, that's a really, really, really easy, accessible way of uh, providing calcium. So everyone's, you know, you've got eggs in, in the house. Whenever you use some eggs, keep the shells smash them up and pop them through it's a really good tip also as well you there's the cuttlefish uh, you know bone as well so that's a really really excellent uh, source of calcium this millipede mulch i want to read the label as quickly as possible so this sub substrate contains everything from moss decayed wood decayed leaf fungi organic compost and a few secret ingredients uh, supplement diet with vegetables and fruit this is also a great substrate for other forage feeders like isopods vampire crabs and roaches so it's got absolutely everything that the animals are going to need oh, i love that smell it smells like forest slush really nice and fluffy look I'll show you so you see all the white rotten wood inside it I want to put make it as, as deep as I actually possibly can in this tank as well plenty of depth in there for them they've got loads in the back we've got a food bowl I'm just going to pop that in the front here. Yeah? So right in the front. Remember our eggshells. I'm going to, just going to sprinkle eggshells in here. And give that a bit of a mix up as well. Now I'm going to pop a load of cork bark in there so that they can have loads of loads of places that they can hide. See, there's going to be absolutely bags and bags and bags of cork back. And just because it's nice and light. And they can uh, hide underneath it if they need to. Now then. What I'm going to do... So, now then, what I'm going to do next is... Uh, spray it all down so really get it nice and uh, nice and moist and humid in there okay so let's pop uh, pop these guys in here
These are the giant African millipedes and they are a perfect starter invertebrate for especially children but for anyone they're quite active so you should see them quite often even though they, they go underneath the soil to the substrate sorry to uh, to molt and to lay their eggs so very very important that if you don't see your uh, millipede for a little while don't go digging up the soil or the substrate there because your animal may be molting Now the cuttlefish, the source of calcium, of course there's stuff in the soil now as well, in the substrate, but cuttlefish bone is great. So you pop your, your decaying kind of, your waste uh, fruit and vegetables and stuff, you know, so you can, anything that you have in the house, they really love cucumbers. And I just scrape your cuttlefish over the uh, over the food, or you can actually just leave it inside the uh, the enclosure. One or the other, they're both fine. So and then we have it. Lovely display enclosure for the giant African millipede. So thank you everyone for joining me. I've been Gar from Arachnotube. On behalf of the Spider Shop, we're setting up the enclosure, the display enclosure for the giant African millipedes. See you on the next one. Take care.